Alright guys, this is going to be another hopefully short and sweet one and we are going to be looking at organizing our assets in our shoes. With that said, I also want to point out that up until this point, I have not saved and I have not told you to save, uh, so hopefully you were better than me and have been saving over this time. To save it, you're going to go up to File and go down to Save, and you're going to create your own file. So choose a location where you want to do your saving, and then name your project something that will be very easy to um, find out. And one of the things that I really like to do is I like to start all of my projects with the year. So it would be like 2022, Christmas, Vacation, tutorial. So when you're doing your shows, make sure you have a nice, clear, consistent way of saving. And I always like to start mine with the 2022. And then I'll even use the dash to put in there to just make it nice and clean. For this saving purpose, I am going to get rid of that 2022. So you can put in whatever year you are doing this, and then you're going to go ahead and click save. Now you'll see that it will update it up here and it will be there. Just remember to save, save, save. It happens very often that this program will just crash for whatever reason on you. It could be rendering, you could have had it in full and forgot to change it back to something lower and it just overwhelms the system and boom, next thing you know, you are four hours behind and have to try to refigure out all the little tweaks that you did. It gets very, very annoying, very, very frustrating. So save, save, save. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying the tutorial so far. There is a lot of time and research that I put into all of these tutorials. It is great that we have platforms like this that I can help share and spread the knowledge. These tutorials are ad supported and from donations from generous viewers like you. In an effort to further share the information, give a better experience for the viewers, share files and resources, as well as support the channel monetarily, I created a website and a course. The website houses a lot of information and resources from many great contributors in the projection mapping community. It is updated regularly as new useful resources become available. The course, that's another resource that is continuing to grow. It acts as an organized and ad-free experience. There is exclusive content and resources that are included with the course enrollment. For instance, the media used in the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation tutorial series? Well, that's in the course, included for free. You just need to click to download. The final platform is the store. In the store, you will find different resources that are available for purchase at reasonable prices. Keep an eye out for coupons and specials, especially during the off season. All of the funds that are raised are reinvested back into the growth of the channel through purchases of hardware, software, and other things that can be used to create new tutorials, reviews, and demonstrations. There are two free things that you can do right now to support the channel. Please like this video and subscribe below. The more likes and followers that we have, the more likely companies are to send loaner or demo resources for us to work with and share on this website all free for you to access. I thank you for your time and consideration of supporting this channel. Please enjoy the remainder of your free tutorial. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Organizing assets. You can see over here, this is starting to get kind of clustered. Um, it actually looks pretty good right now, but it will quickly grow into a hot mess. Let me show you. So this is one of my more recent shows, open recent, let's go into Stranger Things. All right, do I wanna save it? Of course I do. All right, so this is gonna take a second to open up and 
Um, I had moved a folder, so that's why it looks like 173 files are missing since you last saved this project. But guess what? That's the ones that are missing. There is a ton of files that are still there, even more than 173. So you can see how this will quickly go absolutely crazy on you. But if you look at this, this is looking nice and clean. You would have no idea that there's 173 files going crazy within these folders. This is a big example of why you need to save things as you're going. So here are the top folders that I use for my organization. I use a compositions folder. This is where I keep my main composition and any of the mini compositions. So if I clicked on like season four, here are all the mini compositions. Why do I love comp pre-comping so much is honestly because it helps keep me organized a little better and I can go in and know exactly where I need to pinpoint to um, fix if I need to change anything. So that is one thing that I like about it. So compositions is a folder. Facades, you're going to end up having multiple facades as you go. So I have a folder for that. Green screen videos, images, masks, music, raw, raw videos. These are the ones that don't really have a green or they're the ones that are the originals. So I'll keep raw videos there. Um, solids, as you're doing some effects, they start creating some solids. So to keep everything nice and clean, I'll throw them into a solids folder. Sound effects, uh, kind of self-explanatory, but these are the top folders that I have. And just like you saw, there's over 173 um, files in here. I can even tell you how many are in here. Um, and you cannot tell because I have it nice and cleanly organized and I know where I need to get everything. If I wanna go into my masks, there they are. All of my masks are nice and organized. It helps me from saving and sorting through a bunch of ping. So when you are organizing your show, make sure as you're going, you're keeping things organized in a certain way. The folders work for me. Let's show you how to make a folder. All right, so I'm going to skip on back. I'm going to go back to recent. There we go. All right. So I'm going to create my folders. You can right click and go to new folder. That's one way to do it. Or you can click the little folder icon. Doesn't matter. Just choose one. Masks is a top folder. So I'm going to cre create a mask folder. And then to fill that mask folder, I need to find my masks, like both garage doors. I'm going to click and drag and hold over top and boom, there it goes. Here's See how it shifts over to that side? That shows that it's in that folder. Now I'm going to take this one, I'm going to drag and drop, boom, there it goes, it's right in. Now I can close that and it looks even cleaner. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying the tutorial so far. There is a lot of time and research that I put into all of these tutorials. It is great that we have platforms like this that I can help share and spread the knowledge these tutorials are ad supported and from donations from generous viewers like you. In an effort to further share the information, give a better experience for the viewers, share files and resources, as well as support the channel monetarily, I created a website and a course. The website houses a lot of information and resources from many great contributors in the projection mapping community. It is updated regularly as new useful resources become available. The course, that's another resource that is continuing to grow. It acts as an organized and ad-free experience. There is exclusive content and resources that are included with the course enrollment. For instance, the media used in the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation tutorial series, well, that's in the course, included for free. You just need a click to download. The final platform is the store. In the store, you will find different resources that are available for purchase at reasonable prices. Keep an eye out for coupons and specials, especially during the off season. All of the funds that are raised are reinvested back into the growth of the channel through purchases of hardware, software, and other things that can be used to create new tutorials, reviews, and demonstrations. 
there are two free things that you can do right now to support the channel. Please like this video and subscribe below. The more likes and followers that we have, the more likely companies are to send loaner or demo resources for us to work with and share on this website, all free for you to access. I thank you for your time and consideration of supporting this channel. Please enjoy the remainder of your free tutorial. All right, compositions. So, oh, I read the word and I clicked on it. So I'm going to go into my folder and I'm going to type in compositions. There we go. Now I'm going to take my compositions and put them in, like the light scene trimmed, drag, drop. Clark Garage Video Mess, drag, drop. This one, I'm going to leave out. So I like to leave my main composition, my main video um, out. So that way it's nice and easy to see. All right, what else do we have? The masking template, sometimes I leave this one out or, or sometimes I put it in images or sometimes I even put it in masks. It all depends. I'll leave this one out for now. And here I have a raw video. So I'm going to create a new folder, raw video, boom. And I'm going to take this, drag and drop it down into the raw video. That is organizing.